Jay Witt. Hi Chris, love your videos. My question for you is in regards to how you learn to be the real Chris after leaving Scientology. What was your process? How did you counter the isolation? How did you come to find hobbies, other groups, and fun that fits who you really are and leave behind the things you were told to be or like? And Junie Hiltunen. Does Chris Shelton, Scientologist and Sea Org member, still live in the back of your head? Do you ever catch yourself thinking like a member? Yeah, it was and continues to be a process of recovery for me. In my book, I uh, have written three chapters where I talk about the recovery process and all the things that I have done, mostly education and learning about critical thinking and the journey that you have seen me go through on this channel. If you go back to my earliest videos and walk forward from there, you'll see and hear the changes in me um, as I have let go of more and more of the Scientology thinking and learned more and more about how that thinking process works and it kind of, you know, uh, normalized into the real world out of that bubble world. And the process was, uh, yeah, it was mainly one of education, right? But also acclimation. I mean, making friends. I joined uh, meetup.com and I went out to social activities. You know, I went out and started doing gaming again when I was in Minnesota. Don't really have time for that now, but at the time it was great. You know, I guess I, I used to play Dungeons and Dragons when I was a kid. Well, I went out and started doing that again just to meet people and just to kind of get back into doing something that was uh, escapism and fun and imaginative. And I also hooked up with secular groups, with skeptic groups, uh, first in Minnesota and then here in Denver with the Secular Hub, and met like-minded people who have come out of religious situations or, um, or never were in religious situations in the first place and found common ground with, with such people. And uh, through learning about skepticism and reason and critical thinking through Carl Sagan and Christopher Hitchens, for example, or um, James Randi right, through the James Randi Foundation, uh, Penn and Teller, you know, some of the, the celebrities of the skeptic world, I have learned to uh, think differently, to look at the world differently. And not because that's how they're telling me how to look at the world, but really opening up to looking at the world the way I want to, not dictated by what somebody else tells me I should be looking at it through or as. So, um, so that's all been part of the process. Now, to this day, sure, Chris Shelton, Scientologist and Sea Org member still pops up every now and again. For the longest time, uh, anytime I had an accident or got sick, I was wondering who's the SP in my environment? You know, what SP am I connected to? I mean, that was just, a, that, that took a long time to kind of flush out. Uh, another one also was being silent around an accident victim or when I, uh, when I or others were injured or hurt because it's really drilled into you in Scientology that if, that if like you're in a room and somebody falls down or hits their hand or their knee or something like that, or has, an, has some kind of accident or injury, that you be quiet. And I, it, it's still kind of an impulse in my head sometimes that that happens and I have to kind of, oh yeah, no, that's bullshit <laughs> sort of thing. So that, um, that still crops up from time to time. It's just these habits, they're just mental habits physical habits that we have. You know, I'm glad of the work ethic that I have, but I have learned over the last few years to relax, to chill, to schedule out things in my head so I get everything done, but I'm not frantic and, and uh, you know, frenetic about it. Um, and that's been a major, major change in my anxiety and stress levels. Uh, huge, you know. So, um, kind of recognizing the relative importance of things, changing and adjusting that after you come out of a situation like that where the world doesn't need saving, you know? So I'd say that answers the question.